In this video we will learn to transmit and receive the movement of players through the network. Go back to Cube Manager script. In update create a call to the update status to server method. Then create a new update status to server method. In the update status to server method we will make a call to the network manager's emit pause and drop method, providing the player's current position and rotation. Go back to network manager script, and create the new emit pause and drop method. Create a new dictionary type variable called data. In date, create a new field called local player ID, then assign the player's ID to this field. Create a new field called position, in position sign with the player's position converted from vector 3 to string. Create a new field called rotation, in rotation sign with the player's Y rotation converted to string. Then concatenate all information separated by the string colon, converting it into a single string. Use the emit to server method to send the information to the server. Here we will use pos and rot as the callback identifier to be used on the server. Open the basic server script. We will create a new callback to handle the client's pos and drop call. Create the on receive pos and drop method. We check the existence of the player in the list by their ID stored in data.pack. We update the player's position on the server with the new position that was sent by the client. We update the player's Y rotation on the server with the new rotation provided by the client. Finally, we must transmit in broadcast, the new position and rotation of the player, to the other players of the network. Create the broadcast emit player pos and drop method. Create a new dictionary type variable called send pack. In send pack, create a new field containing the update pos and drop identifier to be used on the client. Join the player ID, position and rotation in MSG variable to be sent to other clients. We go player by player and send the updated player position and rotation. To send the information to the network players, we use the emit to client method providing the IP address, stored in the remote IP variable of the current iteration player. Go back to basic network script. 
We will now prepare a callback to receive the message from the server containing the position and rotation of a player who moved and update the local player about these new positions. We use the update pos and draw identifier defined on the server. Then we set up a new method called on update pos and draw to update the new position of the network player. First we select the player who had his position updated using the ID provided by data.pack. Then we update this player's position using the update position method that we will create next in Cube Manager script. Open the Cube Manager script. Create a new method called update position. Return to the basic network manager script. We also update the player's rotation using the update rotation method. Finally, in Cube Manager script we created the update rotation method.